Tom and Electra, and this is the number 10 most outrageous moment. Saints Row the Third in the GT Minute. Are you ready to get freaky? Because in Saints Row the Third, you can kick some ass dressed as an astronaut, a gimp, or even a furry. A lot of costumes in a game that you can actually dress up in, and one of them is a furry costume. And we know all know furries is the rage. Here's the deal with furry fetishes. Um, they are weird. I've never wore a furry costume, and, and I don't I don't think I would. I'm half Sicilian and half Greek, okay? I live a furry costume. A good night for a furry is a terrible morning for a dry cleaner. The most famous furry of all time? Probably whatever Jim Henson first met. We're not gonna use that one, no. Let's do it! In Saints Row the Third, you can create the girl of your dreams, strip her down, and take her almost naked skydiving. Let me get this straight. In the game, you can uh, have a female character and have a naked skydiving? I mean, in your face, Donkey Kong. Yeah, I'd be too terrified to almost naked skydive. That's like saying you can have sex with Scarlett Johansson, but only while a bear attacks you. I'd go naked skydiving if I got a female instructor, and I could be strapped behind her. Skydiving naked sounds like a great thing, because then the wind can just blow away the depression and the despair of living every day. Tonight's weather report, cloudy with a chance of double Ds. Want to make a quick buck? You could get a job or just throw yourself into oncoming traffic and reap the benefits. Because in Saints Row the Third, insurance fraud will get you filthy rich. Run! You didn't see me there! You can actually jump in front of cars and let them hit you, and you collect insurance money. <laughs> I call that my life. Okay, is Bernie Madoff one of the developers? My game plan for committing insurance fraud? Well, phase one, get insurance. Phase two, find out what fraud means. My neck! My back! No, why do I do this? My face! Saints Row the Third gives a whole new meaning to drive-by shooting with the manifold. Drive this bad boy around Steelport and you can suck up pedestrians, then use them as ammunition by turning them into human cannonballs. I, I don't think it could get better than that. Just a human gun. Like, it's a gun with human bullets. I've been watching sci-fi my whole life. They had an opportunity to make this weapon. They didn't. But you know what? Saints Row stepped up to the plate. I kind of want to manipulate Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know why. I just kind of want to see it. Manipulate. That sounds like what would happen if Medieval Times opened a gay bar. When it comes to tricking your ride, nobody transforms a family sedan into a ruthless chrome torquenaut like the fellas at Rim Jobs. Something sexual going on with these new video games. Rim Jobs, that's the name of the place? When I see a guy with a tricked out ride, the first thing that comes to my mind is small penis. Trick out my ride, I would go with platinum seatbelts, a mink engine, and cruise control. All my windows would be hologram. So when I drive past the cops and they look in, I look like a suburban white man. Nah, I'm not letting my kids play with rim jobs. Especially my daughter. Meet Professor Genki. He's the host of Professor Genki's super ethical reality climate. The most demented game show ever. It's murder time, fun time. I don't know why the word ethical is in that. Professor Kiki is what happened when Hello Kitty took bad acid. You compete against other contestants in gruesome death games for the chance to save your own life. Professor Genki is a professor of uh, people up. <laughs> He's not a professor. That's like saying the guy who lured me into a van when I was six is a pediatrician. I always felt that cats were creepy uh, because anything that licks their genitals that much, it shouldn't be that aloof. This gameplay tactic might get some of you a little testy. Want to inflict maximum testicle pain on your opponents? Just tap the right stick. No pun intended. The thing about getting hit in the nuts is there's a delay at first. You're almost, you don't know what happened. Just the thought of us possibly getting hit in the nuts, our whole body shuts down. You almost got me, but you, no, you didn't miss. You got me. It's going to my stomach. I feel like somebody take your stomach and just twist it and twist it and twist it. Here's what getting hit in the nuts is. It's shock, pain, and then nausea. It's like watching Beyonce act. Ah, it's Thor's Tuesday. Tired 
of talking like a normal human? Boring. Well, now you don't have to, because Saints Row the Third's roster of character voices now includes a zombie option. You can be a zombie playing the game. And everybody knows zombies are making a comeback. Are you, are you done this? <laughs> zombies kind of mind their business. You know, they're kind of slow. I'd be friends with a zombie if they didn't think I'd be delicious. It's kind of cool to roll with a zombie, because if anybody talks shit, <laughs> you know, I would sleep with a zombie if they were even mildly hot. Come on, bro. No condoms. Up top me. Sure, I'd sleep with a zombie. I mean, most of the girls I sleep with are dead on the inside anyway. This is how you talk like a zombie. Ah, that's more like a pirate. When the saints come marching in, they march in all over your face. Just pull the left trigger and ignite an all-out melee takedown. I definitely hit a couple people with a melee takedown before in my life. Melee. The only gayer name for a fight is fisticuffs. Rules to melee, yes. Rule number one, uh, not the face, boys. Steer clear of the money maker. The only rule that there should be in a melee is uh, I'm against the dildo bat. We can fight. I just don't want it to hit my face. If people saw you get hit out of purple dildo, game over. <laughs> you gotta change the name, <laughs> go to another town. You know what's sublime? DDTs. That's just how we roll. And this is number one. Surf's up, dude. No waves, no problem. Why wait to catch the big one when you can catch a car? I've been a fan of car surfing since Teen Wolf. OK? I'm old school with it. If I was to car surf, it would have to be a cool car. Ferrari, Lamborghini. I'm not risking my life on a Kia. Black people, we don't go surfing in the water, let alone car surfing in the streets. Ideally, I like to stay parked and put a green screen behind me and add motion later. <laughs> Car servers. The only thing these guys are afraid of? A high school diploma. Car surfing? Pretty cool. Car surfing naked? Divine. Roof Riders, mount up. I'm Jeff Keeley, and that has been your list of the most outrageous moments in Saints Row the Third in stores right now.